Welcome back to the channel guys. I'm Wayne and in this video we're talking about going to a party and you're nine years sober. What does that feel like? If this sounds like something you're interested in or if you're having trouble going to places where you used to go without drinking, this video is for you. You ready to go? Let's get it. So last night I went to a party of a friend of mine for Halloween and I had told him before that I was just gonna stop by and I was gonna check it out and see what it felt like. And he was like, hey man, you just gotta come. My friends have been trying to get me out of the house since I moved into my new apartment from being separated from my wife. So they were like, hey man, just, just come out. And I was like, all right, I'll do that. Look, my friends, I haven't done anything truly social I mean, yeah, I go on trips and I, I do all these things for my job and everything else. And sometimes I go snowboarding with a buddy. However, I hadn't gone to a party in years and I hadn't experienced being around a bunch of people who are drinking for a very long time. Now, did I run a pseudo bar as a facility manager? Yes, I did. But that was a little bit different. And the way it was different is I was the daggone manager. I was employed there. And I had nothing to do with it, so to speak, socially. Now, I'm already socially awkward. And that's not because I don't like people. It's because I honestly, I don't know how to talk to people. And I'm working on that. So I went to this party and... You know, I pulled up to the drive and everything else, and I looked around. I saw a bunch of Halloween decorations, and I figured I was in the right place because I heard a bunch of voices and everything else, and I went and saw where those voices were coming from. My friends, when I turned a corner, everybody was in a daggone costume. Now, this was a Halloween party, and I'm newly being introduced into things that are social and social gatherings with social norms and social expectations and I'm the sober guy um, there was some folks there who weren't drinking and they were designated drivers and everything else so first kudos to them for not drinking when they're the designated driver and then next you know they were inviting as well so I thought that was really cool and I thought that was kind of an icebreaker and I thought that was um, something I could gravitate to. So, as I began to walk around this party and everything else, I noticed certain games going on that were drinking games, and that was no bother for me. And there was a pseudo bar, um, like a makeshift bar, on the other side of the room, and that was kind of a landing point for people who weren't talking to anybody, so I naturally ended up there because I didn't have anything in common with the people that were at this party. Now, not only, and I'm going to come back to the party in a second, not only was I at a party, but, you know, I was in a group of people that were all having a good time and who knew each other. Now, growing up and everything else, I was the middle child of a bunch of kids, so I really never felt like I fit in. So that kind of trickled out through my adulthood and then... I found that alcohol would allow me to engage with these people and alcohol would allow me to talk to these people and it wasn't as big of a deal and it was easy for me to let loose. At least that's why the alcohol was working because eventually, as you guys know, that alcohol stopped working and the drink stopped working and I ended up in a very bad way, which I hope for none of you. If I hadn't gone that route, if I hadn't experienced the low that I did, I wouldn't be sober today. So with that being said, folks, back to the party. As I just described to you, I was an awkward kid. I mean, I didn't really get along with people. I didn't really socialize. And that's a lot to do with how I was brought up. And that's a lot to do with the environment that I was brought up in. And again, if you can relate to that, my friends, you know what to do. Put that right there. Because someone else maybe thinking the same thing. And I got this handy dandy microphone once again because this is actually one of the best sound sources that I've that I've ever owned and I think it's really awesome. I did leave this party eventually and I left this party not because I didn't like the people there but because you know I just have this weird ache and you know I didn't 
feel like I really belong there. So I quietly made my exit and yeah, I made it back home. I made it back here and I was here before 2200. That's 10 o'clock for you American folk. And you know what? I'm kind of upset that I didn't stay because I mean, I have to learn to socialize. After all, I am 48 years old and I am living sober and I can't just rely on myself. Now, I told you guys I went to a meeting a couple weeks ago, which was absolutely amazing. And um, I'm going to go back because there I can socialize with people who are like me and what with whom I would have things in common. Like we all don't drink. We all are trying to stay sober. We all are dealing with our life with the new skills that we've built. I will eventually get back out into the world and I will eventually learn to, I don't know, effectively communicate with people that it's helpful and it builds relationships and everything else. Since my marriage fell apart, ironic, but anyway, um, I hope you found this little tidbit helpful. If you have any suggestions for anybody in the same boat, who's trying to learn how to get back out there, socialize with people without having to drink, socialize with people and have connections and meaningful connections and build relationships and laugh. Drop those comments in there because they're waiting for it. And if you have any helpful tips for me as well, you know what? We grow together, my friends. Life is a daggone garden. Dig it. And guess what? Thank you to everybody who has subscribed to this channel. If you considered this video helpful at all, consider subscribing because it's only going to get better with you in it. I'm going to see you guys in the next one. Y'all have a good day now. Bye-bye.